joining us now live from Folsom to explain how they're increasing these releases. Good morning, Deirdre and Taylor. We're live at Folsom Lake. You can see the rain. It's light right now. Just a half hour ago, it was pouring right where we're standing. But again, all of this comes down to how are area water managers preparing for all this rain? And take a look. The Joint Flood Operations Center in Sacramento is now active. That means state and federal uh, water managers there keeping a close eye on all this rain to make sure that they can properly control the state's uh, reservoirs. But if you take a look at the uh, statistics here, you're going to see that the major reservoirs still have a lot of storage space left in them thanks to this drier than normal uh, year. Folsom Lake. It's about 66% of its full capacity, meaning it's only about two thirds full right now. And the state's largest reservoir, Shasta, it's about 20% below its very top. And Lake Oroville, because of all that construction on the new dam spillway, uh, they released a lot of water. So it's got more than halfway to go before it would even reach its tippy top spot. So a lot of room in the area reservoirs, but reservoir managers aren't taking anything for granted given how much water they're expecting to come in the next couple of days. Listen. The reservoir operators uh, and, and managers, flood managers, can uh, take advantage of that inflow and, and be able to absorb it and not have to make uh, flood releases. But back out here live at Folsom, they are already making some releases in preparation of this rain while they are trying to capture as much of the water as they can. So what that means is uh, later this week, the next 24, 48 hours downstream, areas like Discovery Park could actually reach flood stage. You could start seeing some of those areas of Discovery Park underwater. That is the potential here, given what we are expecting to come. But again, as you saw in this drier than normal year, we still got a lot of space to capture a lot of this much needed Needed rain, and that's good news going into what will be the driest months of the year this summer. Live at Folsom Lake, Mike Tassell, KCRA 3 News.